If you look at the top products in tech, you see a lot of familiar names. iPads and iPhones, Kindle Fires and Galaxy Tabs for you libertarians, and a smattering of Sony and Canon pocket cameras for reasons that are beyond me at this point in history. But today we're going to just skim the top, the freshest stuff that's on fire. The top five products trafficking on CNET that were reviewed in April or May of 2012. Here we go. Number five, the Nokia Lumia 900. This is the smartphone that is trying to reset Microsoft image as not making a smartphone anyone who doesn't work there would buy. It's hot looking, especially if you don't get it in retina ripping blue. Runs Windows Phone 7.5, which we love, and costs as little as 49 bucks. That said, all the looking in the world has yet to raise Microsoft and Nokia beyond a rounding error in the smartphone market. But the strong interest in this phone sets the table for Windows Phone 8 devices later this year. Number four, the HTC One S, featuring the much-awaited Android 4 ice cream sandwich, skinned with HTC's Sense4 interface. It's got a killer camera, an amazing display, all driven by 4G, and it's in a thin, sculpted body. With that slimness, you do lose any expansion slot or removable battery. But this is still the best thing T-Mobile has in their entire line and makes other carriers a little envious, which doesn't happen a lot with Timo. Number three is the Asus Transformer Pad TF300. Sort of a Transformer Prime for folks who want more, want to pay less, and don't mind if it's flimsy. Asus has carved out this kind of one-company industry of making convertible tablets that actually sell. The TF300 is a steal at 380 bucks street, not including, however, the $150 keyboard dock that you just plain want to steal instead of paying that much. But this is currently the best value in an Android tablet as far as we're concerned. That's why you're tracking it down on CNET. Number two kind of comes out of left field, to be honest. It's the Logitech Ultra Thin Keyboard Cover. You know, that thing. You've seen it on everybody else's iPad. We call it the best accessory ever for iPad 2 and the new iPad. It's the best executed cover and keyboard in one. It connects with magnets like Apple's Smart Cover, which means it'll also fall off on the sidewalk the same way that does. Good thing it's fairly cheap at 99 bucks. Buy an extra and put your laptop on eBay. Number one is, of course, a smartphone, but that doesn't narrow the field much. The winner is, by a mile, the Galaxy S3. This is Samsung's current flagship phone. Doesn't even come to the U.S. till summer of 2012. We got an early look at it with 4G, 4.8-inch screen, 4-core CPU, and Android 4 ice cream sandwich. Now, half the traffic to this phone may be coming from the haters who've been criticizing it for having a plasticky case, a mere 8-megapixel camera, and perhaps jettisoning the quad-core on the way to the U.S., but religious wars have always been a quaint part of tech. So there in a nutshell are the five new products you need to know about that you're probably already searching for. In a couple months, we'll have replaced them all with a whole new list. So come back for that video and see all the rest at top5.cnet.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.